Welcome back. Uh, this is the, another watch that I received yesterday. I just didn't have time to make any video or do a review. This is a relic by Fossil. It is the 12110. It has a mineral crystal. It's 42 millimeters in diameter, 13.75 thick. Uh, it says it'll do 50 meters of depth. I love my automatics and I really like to see the movement. And that's what drew me to this watch. Plus I wanted another black one. Uh, to talk about its delivery. Um, it came in this can. I bought this from Amazon. The can was open and the watch was actually loose in the package. It didn't get damaged, luckily, but I just think they could do a little bit better on their packaging. Even if they just ran a piece of plastic around that rim, taped it, whatever. I said everything was bouncing around freely in there. But luckily I had a good delivery person and there was no damage to the watch. It has an exhibition case back. Uh, again, this is... Uh, Somewhat decorated, looks nice. Uh, you can see that it is, on that rotor, it is uh, laser etched in there, relic, but it's really, really small. So you can't really see it. But I, I like when they go out and, you know, make it look nice. The band, it's okay. Um, it's an $84 watch. I, like, I paid $84 for this. So, got no complaints. It's what I would ex would expect at that price point. Um, I also uh, did some research on this movement. I got it upside down. Uh, again, this is a Seagull movement, which... It's the second watch that I know for a fact has a Seagull movement. Uh, it is the Seagull TY2723 movement. Uh, the difference in the movements we like the day, day etc., made into the watch. And once again, I got in here and I tried to find out what it could about the movement. It is from the TY2700 family. Uh, 21,600 beats per hour. That's that's not bad for a relatively expensive watch. Uh, and it hacks. I I like that it's a hackable movement. I think this watch is pretty it, it it's what I like. I think it's a good looking watch. Cuz I really like to see the inner workings and I don't know if you know it is a 20 joule movement. It says it has a reserve of 40 hours. Uh, that remains to be seen. I haven't even worn this yet. So, and the band is, it's nothing special, but it's okay. I'm hoping that this, uh, the coating on this does not wear off. It does say it's stainless steel. And add this to collection, and I'm going to wear it, and I'm going to enjoy it. Um, when I get another watch, I'll do another review. But for now, that's it.